In this tutorial, we will be talking about the EI text animation add-on for Blender. It is available for both 2.8 and 2.9 version of Blender. This add-on consists of four features that is text king, percentage, countdown and text shuffle. So let us start exploring by installing the add-on. After installation, you may not see the add-on anywhere. It is because the add-on works only on the text objects. So, at first, add a text and go to this object properties. There, we can see this text animation option, which is disabled for now. Click on this drop-down menu and select the first feature called Text King. Text King can be used to add subtitles or any other details like credit, quotes, time or place to a video at a particular frame. Let us have a simple demo for that. We will first add an image as plain and choose a video as source. Then add a text and go to text keying option. If we click on add keyframe, it will create a keyframe at the current frame, which is frame 1, which means our text will appear from frame 1 till last frame. We can also edit our text by simply clicking on this text and rename it to anything. Now, suppose we want a video title to appear between frame 30 and 60. For that, go to frame 30 and click on add keyframe. Then, go to frame 60 and repeat the same. Also, at frame 1, Delete this text and keep it blank. This means from first frame to frame 30 there will be nothing and after frame 30 our text will appear. Now let us play and see what happens. We can see that the text is still there after frame 60. In order to hide the text after that frame, go to frame 61 and add another keyframe. Keep this keyframe blank just like first frame. Now you can see the video title appears between frame 30 and 60 only. Similarly, if you want particular text in particular frame interval, then just add keyframe and change the text. For example, from frame 1 to frame 30, I want something to appear, then it will change to video title. So, I will simply write something in first keyframe and press enter. As you can see, for first 30 frame, it shows something then changes to video title after 30. This way you can add credits or video title or even subtitles on a video in Blender 3D viewport. Now let us move on to the next feature which is called percentage. For that we again need to add a text and choose this percentage option from text animation. Here. We need to note that percentage animation works with translation of an object. Let us understand that with an example. After adding the percentage animation option, you can see another option came out which is called driver object. So let us add a plane 
and select the plane as drive object. Now at first frame keyframe this scale of plane on x axis only. Go to frame 50, scale this plane a bit on x axis and keyframe it again. Now select the text, go to text animation and select this translation type as scale x. Because we have done the animation of plane for scale x axis only. Next, make sure you are on first frame. Then click on this set current button of minimum value and then go to frame 50 and click on this set current button of maximum value. This means we have just tied up the minimum and maximum scale value of plane with the text. Now if we play this, we can see the percentage is working accordingly. You can add some decimal value to the percentage by changing this precision number. Also, you can set the minimum and maximum percentage value. If you write anything in this prepend text section, then it will show up before the number. Similarly, if you write anything in append text, then it will appear after the number. Now, let us see the next feature which is called countdown. For that, select this text object and change animation option to countdown. This start value means the first number of the countdown and end means the last number of the countdown. We will put 1 in start value and 10 in end value. Delay in frames means the number of frames it takes to change count. Basically, it is there to control the speed of count. Enabling this reverse option will actually do the countdown. Otherwise, it is always the count up system. Start frame will tell from which frame your countdown or count up will start. Next and final feature is text shuffle. As the name said, this option will shuffle each and every character of your text. To do that, add text shuffle option to your text and in final text write the word you want to shuffle. For example, we will write the word example and press enter. Now if we play, you can see the characters get shuffled a bit to finally create the word example. This character count is the number of characters you want in a shuffle. You can also control your text shuffle speed per frame with this shuffling speed. This is a random character shuffle. If we uncheck this random option and check this synchronous option, then characters will shuffle ascendingly in alphabetical order like this. 
That's all from this EI text animation add-on for Blender. The download link is available in the description below. Share your views or opinion regarding this. Thank you and consider subscribing.